you've just completed the moving forward with a gyro program. Congratulations on your first gyro program. I'm sure one of the thoughts that you've had as you've worked through this program and written it is, wow, if I have to do this every single time I want the robot to move in a straight line, that's going to be a lot of work because there's a whole bunch of steps to make it happen. Well, that's where the beauty of my blocks come in. So we're going to take a look at my blocks and we're going to turn this into a single my block that you can use over and over again. Before I begin with this, there's two things that I want to be able to do. One is I want to control the speed that the motor is running or the power that it's using. And I also want to tell it when to stop. Right now it's unlimited. So we'll come back to that in a little bit, but just keep that in mind as we get going. We're going to select the program, not including the start block. And I'm going to, going to come to tools and my block builder. I'm going to give this a name. Now what I do is I start out with an MB. The reason I do that is if I see this show up in the list of programs on the, on the brick, I want to know that this is a my block program. Now I'm going to select an icon for it. And since the, the smooth steering block is the core of this, is how it moves, that's the icon I'm going to choose. Now, I can also add parameters. Well, what a parameter is, is a parameter is information that gets passed on to the my block. And so I'm going to create two of these. The first one, now I'm going to select a parameter name, and this is going to be power. And it is going to be an input, and it's going to be numeric, so that's great. The parameter icon, since this is power, I'm going to come here and use an icon that's similar, familiar to me. Now I'm going to select this one here. This is going to be distance. And this is going to be distance in degrees. So I'm going to come to something that's familiar to me again and select this icon here. All right, now I'm ready to finish this. I'm going to click on finish. All right, and now I see the program again, but notice what happened. This is my original program here. When I see the original program, I just have this one my block. And when I come here now, this is now the my block program. You can come back and edit this at any time. Just keep in mind, if you edit this, it applies to every place that you've used that my block. Now notice out front here, I have a couple things. One is my power and the other is my distance. So I'm going to take a data wire and string it from here and put it into my power to connect there. Now I'm going to switch this from unlimited to motor rotation and degrees. And I can choose port B or port C since it's going in a straight line. It doesn't make any difference. I'll leave it on port B and it's going to be, this is going to continue until it's greater than whatever this value is here. But instead of leaving that as a static or hard-coded value, I'm going to take another data wire from here and I'm going to bring it over and drop it into this location. All right, now I'm going to save this. And now wherever I use this my block, I can come here and I can set the power to whatever I want it to be, and I can set the degrees to whatever value I want that to be. And it will go forward at that power to that many degrees. If I have another program and I want to use this block again, or even in the same program, here's this moving straight, I can just bring it up, drop it in, and I have another one ready to use wherever I want to. Now this my block can be used anywhere within the same project. So if I add programs to this project file, I can see them and I can do that and, and use them there. I cannot use them in a separate project. So keep that in mind as you're planning your programming strategy. Now the other thing that you can do if you ever need to edit this is you can click on the little button up in the corner and you can come and edit the values of these parameters. But keep in mind, once you've used this, you want to 
you don't want to be changing this very much because when you make this change here it's going to make it for every instance of this particular my block wherever it's used in this project. 